up with an Ark? Actually, I'm Kindness. I'm Victor. I'm Busy. And today we're going to be reading in Genesis chapter 26. So if you like, you can turn to your Bible and we can get reading. And there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Ger Gerar. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go, go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Sojourn in this land, and I will, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee for unto thee, and unto thy seed I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father, and I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and will give unto thy seed all these countries, and in thy seed shall all the all the nations of the earth be blessed, because that Abraham obeyed my voice, kept my charge and commandments. My, statue, my statues and my laws. What was happening where Isaac was living? They didn't have food. Mm -hmm. Where did Isaac go? To Gerar. Mm -hmm. What did God remind Isaac about? His oath. Mm -hmm. And Isaac dwelt in Gerar, and the men of the place asked him of his wife, and he said, she is my sister, and he feared to say, She is my wife, lest, said he, the men of the place should kill me for Rebekah, because she was fair to look upon. And it came to pass, when he had been there a long time, that Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked out, looked out, at, looked out at a window, and saw, and behold, Isaac was sporting with Rebekah, his wife. And Abimelech called Isaac and said, Behold, of a surety, she is thy wife, and thou saidst, Thou, she is my sister. And Isaac said unto him, Because I said, Lest I die for her. And Abimelech said, What is this thou hast done unto us, of the people which lightly have have lion with thy wife, and should and thou shouldest have brought guiltiness upon us? And Abimelech charged all his people, saying, He that toucheth this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. So what did Isaac tell everybody? That Rebecca is his sister. Mm -hmm. And what did Abimelech see Isaac and Rebecca doing? Sporting. Mm -hmm. And was like the Abimelech that the Bible's talking about, is this the same Abimelech that was when uh, Abraham was still alive? Nope. And what did Abimelech say? Don't touch them or you'll die. Mm -hmm. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward, and he grew until he became very great. And For he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds, and great store of servants with the Philistines envied him. For all the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of Abraham his, his father, the Philistines had stopped him and fulfilled him with earth. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. What did God do to Isaac? Blessed him. Mm -hmm. And Isaac departed thence and pitched his tent in the valley of Gerar and dwelt there. And Isaac digged again the wells of water which they had digged in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham and he called their names after the names by which his father had called them. And Isaac's servants digged in the valley and found there a well of springing water. And the herdmen of Gerar did strive with Isaac's herdmen, saying, The water is ours. And he called the name of the well Esek, because they strove with him. And they digged an another well and strove for that also. And he called the name of it S Sitna. And he, and he removed from thence and digged another well, and for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth, and he said, For now the Lord hath made room for us, and he shall be fruitful in the land. And went up from thence to Beersheba, and the Lord appeared unto him in the same night, and said, I am the God of Abraham with I am the God of Abraham thy father. Fear not, for I am with thee, and will bless thee and multiply thy seed for my servants, my servant Abraham's sake. And he builded an altar there, and he called upon the name of the Lord, and pitched his tent pitched his tent there, and there Isaac's servants digged a well. What did the people in Isaac's land find? A well to pour water. Mm -hmm. 
Then Abimelech went to him from Gerar, and Ahuzath, one of his friends, and Pichal, the chief captain of his army. And Isaac said unto them, Wherefore come ye to me, seeing ye hate me, and have sent me away from you? And they said, We saw certainly that the Lord was with thee. And we said, Let there, let there be now an oath betwixt us, even betwixt us and thee, and let us make a covenant with thee, that thou will do us no hurt, as we have not touched thee, and as we have done unto thee nothing but good, and have sent away, sent thee away in peace. Thou art now the blessed of the Lord. And he made them a feast, and they did not eat and drink, and they rose up bet betimes in the morning, and swear one to another. And Isaac sent them away, and they departed from him in peace. And it came to pass the same day that Isaac's servants came and told him concerning the well that which they had digged, and said unto him, We have found water, and he called it Sheba. Therefore the name of the city is Beersheba. Beersheba. And Esau was forty years old when he took to wife Judith, the daughter of Beeri and Hittite and Bashamath, the daughter of Elon and Hittite, which were a grief of mine unto Isaac and Rebekah. So, um, how old was Esau when he got married? Forty. Mm -hmm. And that is the end. So, in summary, uh, Isaac and Rebekah went to uh, Gerar, um, the same place where Abraham went a couple chapters ago. Um, and Isaac told the same lie that Abraham did and said that uh, Rebekah, his wife, was his sister, um, and, like, one day Abimelech, which wasn't the same Abimelech, because that was, like, a long time ago, uh, when Abraham was still alive, but uh, another Abimelech um, was looking out of his window and saw Isaac and Rebekah sporting, which is probably something that husbands and wives do, and um, he figured out that, that they weren't brother and sister, that they were husband and wife, and again he asked, why did you lie? Um, um, bad things could have happened, or whatever. And he, Abimelech asked Isaac why he lied, and he was like, "Because I thought you would kill me." The same thing that Abraham said. So, like father, like son, he didn't ha he didn't trust in the Lord, and he didn't uh, have faith. But uh, again, Abimelech um, forgave them and gave him a place to live and gave him everything he needed, and Isaac ended up becoming rich. Um, because the Lord blessed him, um, and um, it also the scripture also talks about Esau, um, and that he was forty years old when he got married to Judith, I believe. And that is it. Now time for the praises, thanks, and blessings box. This one's from Julie. Praises God for his faithful for his faithfulness and drawing her closer to him. Now time for the prayer jar. This one's for Marianne, prayers for healing. This one's for Francis sends prayers for my family and asks God to heal, strengthen, and transform our lives. This one's for Pamela. Pray for her mom. She found out she has cancer. And 
this final one is for Cleveland. Prayers for healing and inner peace. It is time to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up uh, yet another day and blessing us with the gift of life. I have a praise from Julie. Thank you for blessing her life. And I pray that if it be your will, you just bless everybody's life. Uh, I also have some prayer requests from Marianne, Francis, Pamela, and Cleveland. You know their needs, Lord, and I pray that you would just help them in whatever they need help with. And uh, I pray that if any of the people don't know you as uh, their Lord and Savior, they would get that set up before it is eternally too late. And I pray that you send forth labors into your harvest. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So if you enjoyed the video and you'd like to support us, you can do that by leaving a like. And also, if you'd like to follow us as we read the Bible, uh, you can subscribe. And then there's a little bell icon right next to the subscribe button if you'd like to get a little notification every time we upload. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I pray you have a blessed day. Goodbye. Goodbye.